G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, well, another pilot showcase. So something that I want to do, I want to introduce some new awesome pilots that are out there flying around in the hobby. So uh, today we've got this gentleman. So uh, basically, the first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask five questions, and uh, we're going to see what we get as a response. Anyway, so I guess uh, we'll just let let you let Snake introduce himself. <laughs> so my name's Justin Power. Um, better known as Snake FPV or Thomas Power on Facebook. Uh, I fly for Team Black Sheep, uh, HQ Props, Proof UAV, and Fly Duino or KISS, Kiss Fly Controllers and ESCs. Yeah, I've been just basically only flying freestyle for about the last two years. That was kind of my next question, yeah, how long have you been flying? Uh, so since March 2015, I think is when I started. And I guess talking about how did you get into the hobby? Uh, so earlier that year in sort of January, February, uh, I caught up with a friend of mine who was playing with, you know, your 450 sort of line of sight, you know, made out of wood, H-quad sort of things. I saw that as, I guess, a potential platform for doing aerial photography. So I started developing an interest in it from that. I saw some Sharpu videos and then that was it, that was game over. So I just emptied my wallet and <laughs> <laughs> went and bought a blackout and uh, yeah. That was it. The rest is history. That's it. That's it. That's uh, now, something something I love about Snake or Snake FPV, uh, I know I love track flying all the time, and that's the only type of flying that I seem to do. But I've been watching Snake's videos for a long time, and I think he's one of the best freestyle pilots out there. Uh, he's got some really good flow about him, and I know a lot of people have talked about him in the community. So, uh, what would be one tip, I guess, one tip for, for new pilots who want to get into the hobby? A tip or tips for, for people getting into to try and do the sort of stuff that I do, which I guess is, is what I'm going to be sort of giving tips for, is just keeping consistent equipment and good quality equipment that allows you to stay in the air. That's that's the number one thing. So, I mean, I've, there's a couple of things I've done, like always had multiple quads that are exactly the same spec. Try to never really buy, you know, subpar gear because to me, there's not much of a price difference anyway. Uh, Rightio, so, so next question, what would be your, your favorite thing about the hobby? Well, that's a hard question, actually. <laughs> um, I think it's basically, so I've, I have a very obsessive personality, and I basically, I think over the years, I've discovered that the thing that I actually like doing is just learning new things. And the thing that's really good about this hobby is that from a technical point of view and from a skill set point of view, you never stop learning. You're always, there's always things that you could be working on and discovering and that sort of thing. I guess the more creative side of me that, you know, with my photography background, that allows me to, it's a really cool you know, sort of different platform for creating interesting videos and content and that sort of thing. So yeah. it's the combination of all those things I, together. I would 100% agree with, I really, you know, like there's so many different things to learn, like in building and flying and filming and yeah. so many different things all the time and yeah. new stuff is coming out. I think it's that, yeah, definitely one of the best things about the hobby. All right. Now, uh, this is sort of where I usually, I meant to ask Thomas from BMS Web, and if you haven't seen that video where I interviewed one of Australia's fastest race pilots, I'll leave a link up here. But he was meant to come up with a fifth question, but I was so excited I forgot about it. So uh, I'm not gonna have a fifth question for Snake today, but what I am gonna do, Snake's gonna come up with a question that he's gonna ask the next pilot that I showcase, and then we're gonna get on and do some flying. So what, what's one question you want me to ask the next pilot that I do a showcase for? I was supposed to think about this. Before. Yeah, yeah, you were. I did, <laughs> I did preempt him. Um, uh, what has been, I think you asked Thomas this question. Yeah. I was going to say, what has been your best experience in the hobby so far? Okay, single, so what's your single best experience yeah, in the hobby so single far? Single best experience. Perfect. Single, single best, actually single best day flying. Okay. Good, yep. good. I'll, uh, I'll watch this video back and I will remember that. Now, what we're going to do, because last time I was racing around, but Snakes, it's not about racing for him. It's all about flow and I guess just, is that how you would describe it when you're flying around? Flow or tricks or? Yeah, it depends on the day. Like today, I'd probably be doing more trick stuff. It's super it's so, windy it's, today. It's proper windy. So all right. the problem with wind is when you're trying to flow together is when it's windy, you got to make a lot of corrections and corrections are what kills flow. So what, we'll give it a crack. what I think we're going to do today, I think we're going to fly around, Snake's going to try a trick, I'll try a trick, and I guess we'll just try and bounce off each other, show you guys some, I, I guess, acro footage or some trick footage, and then uh, we should end up and we'll roll some of Snake's footage because he's much better, better at it than I am, and uh, we'll see how we go. All right, let's do it. 
Alrighty, here we go, and I want to point out we were both using GoPros, so I just add a little bit of post color to mine so you can tell the difference. Otherwise, it would be too difficult. Anyway, so we can start off doing some tricks for tricks. We thought we'd keep it pretty simple so you can see this one we'd start off doing in orbit. Mine's a bit shocking, it's a bit all over the place, and then we're going to jump over to Snakes in a second and we'll see his orbit was a lot smoother. So, spinning when his was spinning around, look, mine's looking okay there, but here's Snakes when it was spinning around, his was looking pretty smooth, pretty consistent the whole time when it was going along. Then I think, I think we thought we'd change it up a little bit, keep getting a little bit more complex, so I'm trying to do some slow rolls or something like that, you know, trying to get a little bit of flow, because a trick like that is important, I think, when you're going to do some flowing sort of freestyle moves, and then you can look at snakes, they look much more effortless, much more smoother when they're flying through the air. Alrighty, so for those of you who can't tell, this is about me, this is me about to try a yaw spin and uh, it really did make my brain hurt. Look at my horizon, it's all over the place. And then we hand it over to the master, Snake FPV, check out his horizon. So when he does it, it is absolutely spot on. But a big, something I do want to point out, he does one in a minute, and look where the gate is. And so when he comes out of this, you can see, look where the gate is, right in front of him. And uh, he continues to fly around and do some tricks. And I think that's a big difference for a racer pilot, I guess if you're just like into track flying. I would have been like dead on, really game to smash that gate, but as a freestyle pilot, I think it's much more flowy, and it's all about, it's not really hitting those small gaps, it's about using the whole space and the whole place that you're flying around. Then Snake started doing them around, around trees and some other crazy stuff, so that was, that was pretty cool, just throwing them in anywhere he can. Now right here, this is where we sort of said, okay, let's go through the two rings and do a power loop. Well, that's what I said anyway, and I thought that was a pretty standard instruction. But uh, then when I handed it over to Snake, who thought we had to do a power loop through the two rings, he started doing it through those tiny little ones right in front of us. I didn't mean this tight, but I guess it shows you just how good Snake is at doing some power loops as well. I was pretty impressed. And then finally, for our last trick of the day, we thought we'd go through one gate, do a flip, and then hit the next gate. And you can see, this is where I really learned that my, like when you're a racer, it's all about keeping that line, do your trick, get onto your online to hit the next spot. But then when you hand it over to a freestyler like Snake, it's about using that whole space and flowing between them. So I was really impressed. Uh, this is just some extra footage from Snake flying around. But overall, I had a fantastic day. And look, if you haven't checked out Snake's videos, I'm gonna drop them down below. If you do anything and subscribe to his channel, if you do anything, go check out. It's a video called like FPV Road Trip or something like that. It'll be linked down below because that, was, that is one of the best FP video, FPV videos that I've ever seen. So I think that was absolutely amazing. Big shout out to Snake for flying down, so thanks so much, mate. What I'm gonna do now, because this wasn't really the best place to fly around if you're into freestyle, and it doesn't really showcase Snake skills, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna roll. He was nice enough. He gave me some footage of his flying the other day. I'm gonna roll some of his own footage that he did in a park that he's probably a little bit more familiar with. It looks, uh, it's really impressive, so stick around. I'm gonna put some music on, and we can also check out his stick overlay so he shows us how he does some of these tricks as well. Anyway, uh, subscribe for more FPV-related content. Massive shout out to Snake. Thanks so much, man. And as always, happy flying.
Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out these videos. And I'm also going to leave a little link here to my Patreon page because I've got some fantastic Patreon supporters and I like to give back to them as well. So if you want to join the UAV Futures family, there's things like bonus Velcro straps, little bundles of FPV goodies and things like that that also get sent out. Anyway, happy flying.